So it looks like we were right and NASDAQ market went back to its previous resistance bouncing off of that moving average. Check this out. You guys can see the video that I made. I think it was like two days ago, right? Market's been incredibly bullish. And what, but what I mean by market is NASDAQ has been incredibly bullish. There's been this ascending uptrend pattern. The moving average has been a very common support range. Again, patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to, right? There's no indicator that's 100% accurate 100% of the time. Uh, but it didn't surprise me, right? We created this plan of action for TQQQ. Talking about the support right around 59, the resistance right around 64. And if we look at TQQQ, let me go ahead and pull it up right here. I mean, literally like clockwork, bounced right off of the moving average, right around that $59 price point working its way back up. It only hit highs of um, 62.50, but approaching that same general resistance of $64. 64 is like the resistance overall, as we've only been able to hit highs of 63.95. So overall, NASDAQ market still bullish, but it looks like it's lacking progress, at least for today. Uh, you guys let me know down in the comment section. Uh, we talked about it during today's live trading. I feel like the market's really, really slow today. There's a lot of activity during the pre-market session. And then this is kind of the part that really, really, it's frustrating because like it bothers me because all the activity happened pre-market and then market opens and then it sells off, right? Um, or market trade sideways. And it's just really frustrating because like, I just, again, uh, I guess you can't, you can't win every single day. Uh, there's no question about that. Like every day, there's not going to be crazy good opportunity. And I think that's one of my biggest takeaways from today. I think I just came back really hungry because of my performance yesterday. Uh, for those that didn't watch yesterday's video, I took a small loss. Um, what was it going long on DJT? Um, and then today it sold off an additional 4% 4, 4 on the day. I came really hungry during today's live trading session. And it was really frustrating because the, the market I just knew was not performing well. It, it wasn't meeting my criteria. Um, and I think it's just like two things that did not mesh with one another. I did end up taking a position. I ended up going long on Tesla. So I'm going to make you guys very, very jealous. Uh, but I made a whopping uh, $100.55. So uh, be jealous. Just kidding. Uh, but now Tesla's a little bit more on the overbought side. We'll see if it ends up performing a reversal. I just want something dramatic to happen. I want the market to push to new highs or become very overbought so it, easy, it becomes easier to short or for the market to absolutely dump. So again, we can short it on the way down and then be able to buy the dip on that reversal. So I just want something significant to happen. Uh, I really hope that we don't continue to trade sideways up until... Um, the FOMC meeting next week. I think it's next week, uh, the FOMC minutes, I'm sorry, FOMC minutes next week on Wednesday. So um, yeah, I mean, that's really just it. There's literally nothing significant that's going on today. I looked at the overall NASDAQ market. I looked at all of big tech. Uh, there's nothing that's dramatically pushing up, dramatically pushing down. It is really a, a slow moving day. Uh, and moments like this just remind me how important it is to stay cash. I mean, you do you. If you want to force a trade and you want to waste the day trade for those that are under the PDT rule, you know, at the end of the day, you're an adult. You can do whatever it is that you want. But moments like this, again, if you can hold yourself accountable, save those day trades for when true opportunity is presenting itself, great margin is present and direction is very clear, then great. All of your stars are aligning. Um, but moments like this just remind me it's, there's nothing wrong with staying patient, staying calculated and waiting for that opportunity to present itself. And we're going to show up every single day, just like we do right at market open. So I hope to see you for tomorrow's live trading session. Hopefully we get a little bit more trading activity, uh, then. And if you want to tune on in again, I trade live every morning. I would love to see you there. Second link in the description down below. And again, it's 50% off right now. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. And if you sign up today, you'll be able to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow. I appreciate your time. Hope that earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and don't forget. Our Corvette giveaway ends in just a few days. And if you haven't entered, it's the fourth link in the description down below. And I want to remind you, our last giveaway winner for the Tesla purchased a $25 flag and he was announced the winner. So now it's your turn. Take a chance, get entered. Um, and maybe in a few days, I will be calling out your name to fly you out to Arizona to pick up the keys or pick up the cash for the Corvette CA. Appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.